So we got some narrative bits to talk about with this week. We all thought the season was over and yes, the full on narrative for Destiny 2 Season of Risen seems to be over, but we got one final bit this week in the story and I'll let you guys listen. It is pretty hilarious if you ask me. Greetings, Guardian. I come bearing enlightening news. Brockus Forge has earned himself quite a reputation among the Cabal. Within his first three days aboard my ship, he was challenged to six rites of proving. He prevailed in them all. One of those challenges came from an officer on my war council. Brachus Forge defeated him with a single thunderous blow. As is our custom, he was promoted to Valis for his courage. He has also started a version of the Iron Banner aboard my flagship at my request. There were many volunteers for his training. He calls his legionaries Iron War Beasts. We have much to learn from one another, and Valus Forge is an excellent ambassador. I dare say he even likes it here. And if a human can ascend to the rank of Valus in such a short time, imagine what the future holds. May we all live long enough to find out. So Brockus Forge or Lord Saladin was challenged six times in three days to a right to proving, including one from a member of the War Council. He won all of them, and in as a reward, guess what he got promoted to? Valis Forge. This dude in three days went from Brockus to Valis. Now that's pretty remarkable if you ask me. And on top of that, he is, you know, doing a form of the Iron Banner on, you know, Kaido's forces. With Kaido's forces, a lot of volunteers are, you know, intrigued by this. But one of the most fascinating parts of all this is the fact that he is, in a way, building a force of Cabal. And in this case, they are called Iron War Beasts. I mean, that name sounds remarkable in itself. And the fact that Saladin or Valus Forge is doing this, you know, honing the skills of both the Cabal and what he knows as an Iron Lord together into a powerful force to help fight the darkness is pretty remarkable and pretty astounding. Now, where does this take us in terms of the future of Destiny narratively wise and worldwide? Well, if you ask me, I will say this. I think Valus Forge forming this is symbolizing a massive war on end. Like there is something serious to be had. Now we all know this because of Lightfall and the Witness coming. There's going to be a big battle in the Soul System. But Lord Saladin, in a way, is getting what he's always wanted. He's getting a return to form, and we are going to be seeing Saladin do things that we only wish we would, see, you know, see him do. So I'm excited to see where this takes us. I think it's pretty hilarious that he is now. You know, the war, you know, fuel machine of the Cabal and him are now unifying into a new force. The War Beast is pretty, pretty cool. And even Kaido, you can tell in her tone and her voice gets a chuckle out of this. She's like, wow, this guy is remarkable. And, you know, she said at the end, hopefully we all live to see this, you know, where it all takes us. Because this allegiance, him being on the War Council with, you know, Kaido's War Council, I think really, again, symbolizes the permanent relation and alliance between the Vanguard and Kaido his empire or the cabal empire ah, exactly we'll see but we know chaos is incoming we know a bunch of other stuff is coming with lightfall the witness the powers of the darkness chaos is now i guess you could say a servant of darkness so we have a cabal civil war in a way we have toro bottle we have you know zigo wrath and things like that there's a lot of stuff on the cabal side that is pretty fascinating and i want to see how all this plays out i know sony acquired bungie maybe we get an uh, uh, iron war beast animated show and we see them go to back to toro bottle and like fight off the high forces and reclaim this home world i, I mean whatever they can do this is a chuckle. I, I want to have fun, make this video. It's really cool. Really, really cool. And this is something I didn't think we'll ever see. And the fact that it happened, I'm like, Jesus, Saladin, chill the fuck out, my guy. But yeah, I mean, lore wise, man, the story of Destiny, the world of Destiny just keeps on getting better, whether it's a small thing like this or just the big things like the Witch Queen campaign. So with that being said, all I got to say in this video, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick, enjoyable, small little lore update thing. I think this does 
mean a significant bit for the future, but as of now, it's a fun little thing Bungie has put out there that I cannot wait to see Iron War Beast in battle with me for the in against you know Life Fall and maybe future seasons. We'll see how things play out. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely drop this video a like. If you guys are also new here, want more content like this or any other game I cover on channel besides Destiny 2, definitely hit that subscribe button because we got a lot of good content coming today, tomorrow, weeks, months ahead. So hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified for when that content drops. But I'm gonna shut up, let you guys go about your day. Expect a video later today talking about Modern Warfare 2, but yeah, I'm saying too much. Challenge you here, and I'm out.